The separation takes place in the mouth of the trawl while it is fishing on the seabed. The juvenile roundfish then have a better chance to escape from the trawl without being severely damaged. The construction and operation of this marine laboratory separator trawl will be described and its advantages over conventional prawn trawls considered. Underwater observations have shown that different species of fish react in characteristic ways when entering the mouth of a bottom trawl. For example, haddock and whiting have a tendency to rise up within the mouth of the trawl when they are exhausted. Cod, flatfish and prawns, on the other hand, enter the trawl close to the belly panel. These differences in behavior can be used to separate the two groups of fish by inserting a horizontal panel of netting along the full length of the trawl. This creates two separate compartments leading into two cod ends. The top cod end can be made from netting of the current whitefish legal minimum mesh size and the lower cod end from the minimum legal prawn trawl mesh size. Both the marketable and juvenile haddock and whiting will rise up into the top net. The large fish are captured and the juveniles can escape through the larger unblocked meshes of this cod end. The prawns, cod and flatfish which stay low in the mouth of the trawl are held in the lower cod end. The separating panel can be fitted to any commercial prawn trawl or dual purpose fish prawn trawl. Separator panels used by Scottish fishing vessels are designed with about three quarters of the number of trawl belly meshes across the front of the panel. The width at the rear of the net, where it joins the cod end, is half the number of the belly meshes. These proportions can change with different shapes of trawl. For example, a trawl with a low headline height, having a flatter oval-shaped mouth, will require a wider panel at the front. And a trawl with a higher headline will require a narrower panel stretched between the selvages. Before fitting the panel, it is important to ensure that it matches the belly length exactly. If both the panel and the belly are of the same mesh size and material in a new trawl, this is easy. If a separator panel of new netting is being fitted to an old net, then the belly and separator panel must be carefully measured to ensure that the front end of the separator panel is positioned directly above the fishing line of the foot rope. At the front of the panel, two short wings are needed. The side edges of the whole panel are joined into the trawl selvages. The aim is to have a flat, tight sheet of netting between the selvages of the trawl. Mesh size in the separator panel should be of the same size as the trawl belly to retain the prawns and to stop migration through the panel into the upper compartment. The fishing line of the separating panel is directly above the trawl foot rope and should never be more than one meter behind it. The panel should never lie in front of the foot rope because the haddock and whiting will be unable to rise quickly enough to enter the top net. One and a half meter long strops are fitted between the fishing line of the panel and the foot rope of the trawl. They should be positioned one at each end of the foot rope bosom. Fine tuning of the strop length down to three quarters of a meter may be required to ensure the correct panel height for optimum species separation. If too many haddock and whiting are entering the lower net, the strops should be shortened by small amounts until the desired separation is obtained. Chain can be added to the foot rope to ensure good ground contact with the seabed in the area of the strops. The upper cod end is often made up to two meters shorter than the lower cod end to make it easier to take the catch on board, although the length may vary depending on the vessel and its deck handling arrangements. Lazy deckies and lifting strops can be fitted to each cod end in the usual manner. Sometimes these are not required on the top cod end. The panel is usually joined to the two cod ends in the ratio of two cod end meshes to one panel mesh. The addition of a separator panel and an extra cod end will increase the cost of a conventional trawl by about a quarter. There are positive advantages in using separator trawls. If tuned correctly, most of the haddock and whiting should enter the top and so allow the juveniles to escape through the larger cod end meshes. Few of these juvenile and unwanted small fish would escape through the smaller mesh of the lower cod end. The marketable haddock and whiting retained in the top cod end are in better condition since they have not been damaged by the shellfish and debris in the lower cod end. The better quality of these fish from the top cod end are more acceptable to the merchant. 
Less time is required to sort the catch because most of the small fish have escaped and do not need to be picked out. Therefore, the catch can be packed in ice faster. If the belly of the lower net is damaged or taken out, the top net will continue to fish. If the quota on haddock or whiting has been fished up, the top cod end mesh can be increased in size or the cod end can be left open to allow these species to escape. A separator panel can improve the efficiency of the vessel and reduce the crew's workload. Widespread use of trawls fitted with a separator panel will reduce very substantially the discarding of small fish to the benefit of the white fish stocks. <laughs>